So in today's videos, we'll be learning the basic bodice block for the ladies. And this is the method which we are using is the tailoring method. The measurement that we require are all round burst that is 36 inches, waist length that is 15 inches, cross back that is 14 inches and round waist is 26 inches. If you have any confusion in the measurement, so you please go through the previous video which is the standard basic measurement for the ladies right for this we'll be making a block a b c d a b c and d here a b is equal to this is 15 inches that is waist length and AD is AC is equal to this is half of the burst plus 1 inch that means 36 divided by 2 plus 1 inch we'll describe it C this is a block ABCD how we have created this here A to B is equal to 15 inches which means the waist length and AC is equal to 17 inches sorry 19 inches that is half of the bust plus 1 inch for the tolerance or the ease allowance that means 36 divided by 2 is 18 plus 1 inch is equal to 19 inches and in the same way AB is equal to BD AC is equal to CD that means ABCD is a block AB CD are equal AC and BD are equal to each other now what we'll do we'll divide this block into two equal halves and we'll mark the point E and E dash This line will divide this block and where we can create the impact of front and back. See this. This line will divide into two equal halves. That is, you can write E is midpoint of AC so or we can write this AE is equal to EC these both are equal and we have divided into two equal parts in the same way we will be dividing the line AB into two equal parts In the same way, we'll divide the line AB into two equal parts. That means seven and a half and seven and a half, and we'll mark the point F and F dash. This. right and now what we'll do we will mark a point G as 
ए जी इज इक्वल टू नाइन इंचेस दैट इज वन फोर्थ ऑफ द बस्ट दैट इज द डेप्थ ऑफ द बस्ट and will mark it as g and g dash it is simple as now we have taken a block of abcd which is ab is equal to waist length this is half of the bust plus 1 inch divide it into two equal parts so that we can create front and back in the same block so e is the midpoint of ac and in the same way e dash is the midpoint of b d in the same way f is the midpoint of ab and f dash is the midpoint of cd and now we have taken a line taken a point g as ag is equal to ag is equal to 9 inches that means 1/4 of the bust or this is the depth of the bust right now let's start making the process <clears throat> this portion we will be creating the front so first we are creating the bodies of front so in that way first we have to mark a point a dash as a to a dash is equal to 2 and 1/2 inches and a to a double dash is 3 inches a dash a double dash and we will just Explain it. A A dash is equal to two point five inches. Why it is so? This is because one twelfth of the bust minus half inches. A to A double dash is equal to three inches. That means one twelfth of the bust. Right. So this is clear. This is the width of the neckline, and this is the depth of the neckline. And now we can just curve this either with the help of French curve or. with your hands this done now we will mark a point h as h is equal to 7 inches that means half of the cross back this is point h and we'll drop a perpendicular from h to the point to the line f f dash this got it but we have done we have just taken a point h as ah is equal to 
seven inches that means half of the cross back right 14 is the cross back so we have done it half that is seven inches now we'll mark a point and we'll mark it as a h dash right now we'll mark a point i as i this is the point i as h i is equal to one and a half inches one by twenty four of burst burst is thirty six if you will divide this with twenty four so you will get three by that means one and a half inches so here it is one and a half and we have to join this to this this is the shoulder slope right still now it's very easy isn't it now we'll mark a point G this is point G as H dash to G sorry oh I it was H dash to G is equal to one inch this is a fixed length that is for the slope of the shoulder the armhole now We'll just join this to this. Right? Now what we'll take, we'll take the midpoint of this line H to J, I to J. We'll take the midpoint of I J. I, it's approximately six and a half inches. So six and one fourth inch in fact. So we can take six and a three and a one eighth inch this mark it as let's i dash. So i dash is the midpoint of these two points. Now what we'll do we'll create the armhole curve. For that we have to just this to this and to this this is the curve of armhole for this even you can use the french curve also so this is the curve of armhole you can see how beautifully depth it has been taken if you will take it some other method so might be possible that you won't get this beautiful depth and this will give a very nice fitting to the armhole at the bodies right so now what we'll do now we'll create the dart for dart we'll take a point here of three and a half inches and mark it as point K this is point K right and we'll draw a perpendicular from point K to the this depth of the burst we'll take the this you can see you can see this is k 
के डैश राइट दिस इज के दिस इज के डैश एंड नाउ वी हैव टू टेक अ पॉइंट ऑफ थ्री फोर्थ इंचेस ऑन द बोथ साइड ऑफ पॉइंट के and mark this as l and l dash right l and l dash and we just have to join these two lines and this will create the dart leg this is the dart which we have created right so now see one and a half is is been constructed in the dart apart from that half inch would be the ease then what should be this length we have to mark a point here is m as bm bm is equal to वन फोर्थ ऑफ द वेस्ट प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव इंचेस फॉर द डार्ट एंड प्लस हाफ इंच फॉर द ईज तो इट वुड बी वन फोर्थ ऑफ द वेस्ट वुड बी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव तो सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन प्लस एट एट एंड हाफ So it would be eight and a half. This and now we will join these to the first straight. and then with a smooth curve have you noticed till here there is no inside and then we have to take it inside the this and it will but now there would be a problem when we will be uh, stitching this so when we'll stitch this dart so this this will be look like just like this so we have to give the shape to this what we'll do we'll just and we'll just we just have to join these two darts like this and then with the help of a scale we can join these two lines see something like this have you noticed this and then we will extend the dart to this so this would be the cutting of so this is the front part of the bodice block so in the next video will be clearing the second part that is the back this is the front this is the fold line and as usual this is the drain right so this is done with the front part now we'll do with the second uh, that is the back part and that is back part is little bit more complicated as compared to the front part but i'll try my level best to make it easy for you so that you can understand the things and we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye friends and see you again thank you